What is up guys and gals, my name is Splattercat, and we are back on Kronos, doing all kinds of battle-worldly things, trying to keep ourselves out of the line of fire of this extended artillery, which is really just kind of dictating the flow of combat, to be honest. He's pretty much telling us where we can and can't go, and I don't like that one little bit. However, we did get some reinforcements in the form of this boat, so I think I'm gonna try and drop them off. I don't know if there's anything over there, but for now, he's gonna try and hit this beach and maybe drop us off some extra friends. It appears as though, what's inside of you? Sir, open yourself to me. Show me what is inside of you. Looks like we've got a hunter, a Cerberus, and two of those rocket platforms, actually. Could be pretty useful. On the next turn, I can only assume we're going to get even more. They said we were going to get attacked from the west, too, which is slightly terrifying. So let me drop some guys off back here. And I may actually bring a couple of guys up this way, just to make sure the convoy doesn't get holes punched in it from the front. We spent most of our time in this mission trying to make sure they don't get any holes from behind filled up, and so I'd prefer that we keep our job completely and totally accomplished. I want to get this. I want to get all six of them home safely. Is what it comes down to. I don't want to be that guy that finishes the mission with the bare minimum. What else is going on here? Let's move them into position. Yeah, yeah, like that. Okay, and I think that's gonna end everything that I wanted to do on this turn, kind of. Oh, sure, you're gonna take my radar dish. How am I supposed to get all those crazy cable channels now? That was the only thing that kept the man entertained. Morale is at an all-time low. I'm gonna move and I'm interested how he's undeploying and redeploying all in one turn. I am really, really... Because undeploying, it takes a joker move, so I'm a little... A little suspect of what he keeps doing. Since we have no line of sight... I can't unload right here, can I? Where can I unload from? It's weird that that beach isn't accessible. Can I go around this way somehow? No. It's a little weird. I'm a little confused right now. We may have a major organizational issue. Okay, so we've conquered both harbors. Well, like, can I drop him off in the harbor? And then does the harbor start to count for, like, what he has on board? No. Oh, it does, kind of. There it is. Okay, so that's what I was looking for. Apparently these unload from the harbor. Or on a beach, maybe. We haven't tested it out yet, though, so I don't really want to make any grandiose claims that I can't back up. So we got to get these guys back to here. Let's go ahead and make a push. It's that time of the day. But I am going to use the units that don't have any veterancy to try and get out here. He's going to get a shot over that way, unfortunately, but that one's not going to. Where is that one firing to? Right there. So I'm actually just going to scoot him over a smidge. We're going to take a pot shot at this guy because we're going to be major trolls like that. Because we can. That then leaves us a little bit more accessible on this area right here, maybe. Maybe but not quite. So the only person in range is that tank. They're actually going to have to move one more time before anything else happens. That's cool. I'm okay with that. Let's maybe think about... They've already used everything up. Everybody over here. Okay, and so... Ah, there's the enemy. They said there were going to be foes aplenty, and so let us defeat our foes aplenty with the proper application of tactics. Kind of, sort of. Let's make a line over here, because it's all we've got at this point. I do like how the game has a propensity to like turn into line battles. That does kind of help keep things organized, at least in my opinion. I'm gonna put him right there so that they have something else to shoot at instead of going after this artillery, which may happen either way. All right, so the trucks are safe on every side. As soon as these guys get back to the harbor and they start dropping off, we should be even better. End the turn for the Emperor. 
Oh, that's right. They couldn't move until somebody actually destroyed that mush for them. Ew, I don't like what just happened there at all. Oh, I double don't like this. Oh, that is the worst thing ever. And in doing that, they didn't have to advance their line at all. So basically, we just lost a unit for nothing. They didn't lose their position. They didn't gain anything. Ew. It's an ugly, ugly thing to stare in the face. We're going to make a run on him. Well, we're going to make a run on him first, I think. Okay. So... Cerberus is going to be front and center, I think. From here, he should have a firing line on just about everybody, which makes me very, very happy. Let's put some pain on that artillery platform. And then kill it. And then we'll occupy his spot with that unit, taking the first shot, obviously. Start softening up some of these other targets, too. All right. Is that an ammo crate? Okay, that's an ammo crate. I couldn't tell if it was one of the repairy things or an ammo crate. Honestly, I'm actually going to kill this guy with my car there, my bandit, just to make sure that almost everything at least takes a little bit of damage in that first fight. Let's go ahead and press in right here because we don't have a choice. I'm going to pull him back and get him healed. A rocket from there should partially solve the issue. Let's get this guy back since apparently I just failed outright. From here, we still have unloading to do, so let's unload that final hunter. And that should leave us with not a whole lot left to... As soon as we finish this front, I'm going to push this way. And what you're supposed to do in military terms when you're surrounded... I've said this in other strategy games. You're supposed to push really hard in one direction. When that side folds and routes, then you turn around and handle the other direction. And basically, you hope you do it faster than the enemy can, like, roll up on you. It's a shit situation to be in, but it's one that you have to be in in most cases. It's not one that you're really going to have any quick escape from, so what are you going to do? How far is that thing shooting? Okay. So let's do this right here. We'll kind of see what they do on the next turn. I wish I knew the movement range of some of these guys. I guess I could just look at their unit info and then count. Maybe? Oh no, it's not in there. Oh, because they're upgraded. Really, really upgraded, actually. He's got all the upgrades. No, he doesn't. Never mind. That's the list of the upgrades. <laughs> wah, wah. Reasonably, I think we actually did pretty well on this mission, though. I'm not seeing a whole lot of major problems here. I'm going to fall back with him just to see if maybe we can keep him alive. And let's end the turn. This front is going to be my new problem. My pet issue. But now they've actually made a move that I feel like they may not necessarily regret, but that is a move that leaves me in an okay spot. A spot that I'm not terrified of. I knew we were going to take a little bit of counter fire over here. That's all right, because we're going to roll out on this guy really, really hard if we can. a big barrage of missile packs that Cerberus will be no more. There it is and we've got a level 2 Cerberus now so let me give him all his upgrades. I'm going to give him improved firepower and with his second upgrade oh he gets a joker action instead of a movement action. 
Interesting, that means he can fire twice if he's in the middle of the shit. Well, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make him like a frontline skirmisher so that he can fire twice if he needs to. Anybody else here? He's a potential victim, so I'm gonna fall back with him. Ah, there it is. I knew there was a way out of this effectively. Goodbye, Nodbike. So now that he's gone night-night, let's think about what we want to do over here. He's also hit level 2. I'm going to give him Bloodlust as well. But... I'm going to have him displaced because I don't want to lose any of my level 2s. This Cerberus, we need to reform the line, and we need to do it intelligently. Then again, we also have to deal with that artillery platform, too. Let's see if we can get deployed first. There it is. So that's what I was hoping for. Got a couple missile packs here. Ooh, we are banging it up right now. Just banging on fools. Let's go ahead and start forming a line, I guess. I realize this may not be the most effective use of tactics. But how I would prefer for this to go down... ...is to minimize the casualties we're going to take here. He just hit level 2 as well. We'll give him Bloodlust because Joker actions are hard to come by... ...with heavy tank type units. I think for now, I'm going to focus on this tank. Hopefully, it's not going to kill him, but we want him to be absolutely worthless anyways. This unit here is going to have an advantageous use for us. Because we can use his rockets to kill either or. I wish we could take a shot at him, but not available. And goodbye, Cerberus. I don't see any repair kits around here, which is a little disappointing. I'm going to start dogpiling some of the beat-ass units over here, the ones that are just absolutely tapped out, the ones that are ready to be sent off to the medical tent, basically. He got his second level up, and I'm going to go with improved firepower over squash. Let's go ahead and see if maybe we can't flank this artillery piece with that infantry unit. Maybe give them something to go oh shit about and get kind of nervous. Everybody good? Everybody up here? Oh, you're not good. You still have a movement. Well, you come this way then and come help us out on this front. Anybody else? Nope. We're looking pretty... We're, we're shining pretty hard over here. We are shining pretty hard. Thank you for the level up. I appreciate it. I do not appreciate your rockets though, sir. Your rockets can take a big one right in the face. Let's deal with him on the next turn. Oh, please don't tell me what's about to happen. I hate how smart the enemy is in this game. I really do sincerely hate how smart the AI is. Let me guess, they lined up just perfectly with that aura. Balls. Oh, but we got you flanked now, sucker. And we're going to do the same thing over here. He may be inside the range of that one, but it should turn out okay. You know what? Forget it. We're gonna go balls to the wall on this one. I am like really sick of these missile platforms and they just need to go. I don't even care if I take artillery fire right now. I just, I want these missile platforms out of my life. Put some missiles on that infantry. And then finish him off with this hunter over here, who has two upgrades, actually. Let's get some upgrades out of him. So we want the armor for a second upgrade. Steady defense. Unlimited count. Ooh, I like that one a lot. Let's take that. Unlimited counterattacks. What more could you ask for in life? Straight ninjing. Let's go ahead and drop that last weapons platform. And as soon as we finish these guys off, we'll figure out what the mission has in store for us. I'm not sure whether they want me to... Like, actually go back down and sweep the entire island for everything? Or how that's going to go? That seems a little bit time-consuming. Seems a little tedious. I'm hoping that once we wipe this out, that'll be kind of the end of the episode here. 
Ah, they're gonna fall back. Yeah, I was gonna say, you got things to think about now, don't you, pal? Got some decisions to make, some executive decisions to think about. Well, I've got some executive rockets that you can take and you can apply liberally to your forehead. We're gonna kill off this guy. I was really hoping... Oh, that works. Improve his firepower before he takes this shot. Hey, you fire. There we go. So one artillery piece is now down. And I can't decide what's going to be the more efficient path. Maybe... Either way, his days are numbered. I'll probably send him down this way actually to recapture some of this stuff. Just because I'm a dick like that and I like to have that total supremacy win. Everybody else, eh, not really concerned with moving them into any type of cohesive position because I think this is going to be it. And there it is, the end of the mission. So I'm going to cut this one a little bit short right now because I want to start the missions all kind of where they need to be in the episode list. My name is Splattercat, thank you for joining me, and this is our next episode of Battle Worlds Kronos. I like this game a ton, and I say that every episode for the reason that games like these don't come across very often. So, you know, I like people to check them out and hear my opinion on them. This is one of those games that turned out to be far more sterling than I expected, and unless some crazy buggy shit happens in the next couple hours, eh. I think we're going to have a lot of fun with it. See you guys next time, and take care out there, everybody.